Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a serenity to make you feel calm and relaxed. Since I know that overly complicated recipes discourage people from doing them, including me, this recipe only has two ingredients, water and lavender. A short disclaimer, some people do feel that lavender is stimulating to their system and this can happen whenever we overdose on lavender. So you do want to be careful to enjoy this in moderation, maybe once or twice a week, maybe even less if you are using lavender essential oils which are super super potent. Before we begin, a word of caution. You do want to make sure that you are selecting culinary lavender to make sure that it is safe to eat. Experts warn against lavender grown especially for perfumes, cosmetic purposes, and potpourri because they can technically add stuff to it. For example, artificial scents that you probably don't want to be consuming. Pick about five lavender leaves. My plant is in its first year, so there aren't any flowers yet, but if you have the purple blooms, you can go ahead and use them as well. I would say take about half a teaspoon to about one teaspoon. Oil some water. While you're waiting for it to heat up, give the leaves a rinse, making sure to remove all of the dirt. Transfer the leaves into an infuser or just toss it into your mug. Steep the leaves in water for about 5 minutes and you can remove them at that time if you like. Honestly, I just leave the leaves in there until I finish drinking the tea, but that may make the flavor too strong for some people. You can have this drink alone or sweetened with honey, up to you. Another great option is mixing it in with lemonade and giving it that pop of flavor. And there you have it, a recipe so easy that you're probably wondering why I even bother calling it a recipe and posting it to YouTube. Well, it's because we always have this misconception that living healthfully is difficult or that we have to make every meal from scratch or that it's time consuming and expensive. But really, it doesn't have to be. 90% of the time, I'm eating and drinking things like this, food that's as close to nature as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, please share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week.